Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Twitcher T Scored, and today I'm bringing you guys a 14 and 0 HBR A3 Paladin playing 6v6 Domination Map Riot. And this is Paladin with every assault rifle episode number four. I think the only two that I have left to do is the ARX, which is the three round burst one that's kind of like an M16. And then I also have to do the MK14, which is the only semi auto assault rifle. And to be honest, guys, those are the two worst assault rifles in the game. Every single time that I try to play with the ARX, uh, it just seems like it takes me like three bursts to kill one guy. And then the MK14, I think they might buff it at some point because in most Call of Duty games, if you use a semi-auto gun, which is always like the MK14 or the FAL, usually if you use a semi-auto gun, it kills people in only a couple of bullets. But in this game, with the MK14, it feels like it takes like four or five bullets just to kill one guy. And then when you have guns like the BAL that are so much better, uh, it's really hard to play with the MK14. I've tried to go for a Paladin with both the ARX and the MK14 several times, and I've died pretty close with both guns, but I just can't seem to get it right now. So I'll try to get that sometime soon. Uh, they're just really bad guns to use. I really wish uh, they'll do something about all the other guns in the game. Like, I want to use SMGs when I play Advanced Warfare, except all of them are really bad and the damage is really low. The fire rate isn't that good. The SMGs just feel like they're really weak. So I hope they either make the damage higher or the fire rate or something just so the SMGs are better. And I also hope they make some of the other assault rifles, you know, better as well. Because I want to play with different guns. I don't want to only be able to play with it bow just because it's so much better than all the other weapons. So hopefully they change that. And my class setup this game, I think it was the same as normal. I had the, uh, the HBR A3 with probably red dot, suppressor, and grip, I think. And then my perks were like lightweight, peripherals, blast suppressor, and scavenger. So... That's pretty much all I really have to say for the gameplay. One thing I do want to mention is that I'm really enjoying the skill gap in this game. Uh, I just find that it's really fun to play uh, this game when, uh, you know, there's players who play if they're brand new to Call of Duty and this is their first Call of Duty game or just like maybe they just picked up Advanced Warfare. It's really cool because uh, when you're playing, if you have a lot of playtime on the game and you have the EXO abilities mastered and you know the maps really well and you know like how everything works in the game, you're gonna do so much better than somebody who just started playing. And I feel like in some of the other Call of Duty games like Call of Duty Ghosts where you just die really fast, I feel like somebody who's never played the game could just pick up a controller and still kill me just because of how fast you die uh just like if i was my back was turned to somebody somebody who's never played the game before could still kill me but i feel like in this game because of the ability to jump around and dodge enemies and kind of avoid gunfights and stuff and exo dodge out of the way i feel like it makes it a lot better for a skill gap and in this game i have like exactly a 2.00 kd and I think that's pretty good to be honest, uh, because of skill based matchmaking and stuff right now, where it only puts you against players that have like the same KD as you, I think it's pretty good for me to have a 2 KD. What they're trying to go for is they basically want everybody to have like a 1 KD, because they try to match you with people with your similar KD, which just means you're always going to play people who have like the same KD as you. So they want everybody to have like a 1 KD. And right now I have exactly a 2.00, so I think that's pretty good. Hopefully I can raise it once they get rid of skill-based matchmaking. I want it to be more like 2.5. Because I feel like I'm good enough at the game. I feel like I could hold the 2.5 when I get paired up against bad players in this game I always seem to do really well, and I find the game is a lot easier But it always puts me against like really good players And I keep playing against like parties or guys that have really high KDs and I keep having like decent games But I just can't seem to do as well as I would like and uh, it's the only Call of Duty where I've really had that problem. Usually I always play against like noobs and I can get gameplays and get nuclears and moabs and stuff. But so far with the whole skill based matchmaking it's just hard to find like a good lobby where the enemies aren't that good. And because I'm a YouTuber I obviously want to play against like the worst players. If I wanted to play competitively I would go into ranked play and play against good players that are like my skill level. But I just really don't want to do that. I want to go for DNA bombs and vicious metals and I can't really do that right now playing against players that are like my same uh, 
my same skill level so that's pretty much all i really had to say for this video guys i do enjoy the skill gap though for players that aren't good i feel like i do really well against them and i really enjoy that in all the other call of duty games since they weren't really like based on verticality and they were all like uh you know kind of flat on the ground uh, if an enemy was just like head glitching in some spot they could always just pick you off or kill you but in this game if somebody's like head glitching a spot you can just jump over the wall and kill them which adds like a whole new factor to the game and i think that's really cool uh just the whole exo movements and everything i think it just makes the game really fun and i'm enjoying playing the game and i feel like if you know the maps really well and you have everything mastered you're going to be a really good player at this game and that's what i enjoy here's this kind of window right there where i found that dead body in the video i posted the other day hopefully you guys enjoyed that that's pretty much all i really have to say for the video today once again this was a uh, paladin with every assault rifle episode number four i might try to go for a paladin with the uh the kf5 everyone thinks that's the best smg in the game and i probably would agree with that i haven't tried out the other smgs besides the asm1 and actually i feel like the asm1 is probably better than the kf5 in my opinion i always pick up an asm1 with red dot on it and i always seem to get a lot of kills so uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video today i'm gonna try to you know keep grinding for more advanced warfare gameplays i thought this one was pretty decent though and i went 14-0 as well so peace out guys